walk you through the GitLab Jira integration. We're starting off inside of GitLab. Uh, we have a, a mock organization created. This is Healthcare Provider Incorporated. Uh, what we've done is we have several subgroups that have been set up. We can look at these as lines of business, value streams, and then underneath these we have some product groups. This may not be exactly what you do or um, how you've seen other GitLab instances, but this is how some of our organizations structure uh, using uh, GitLab. So if we look at surgical technologies, or store the therapies group, these are two subgroups that fall underneath Healthcare Provider Incorporated. Uh, normally this would be our parent top level ancestor, which it is in this case, but um, these are underneath a couple of uh, my, uh, our demo groups that we have set up for tech marketing. Um, it's just good to note that these subgroups and these groups here, uh, as we'll use this as namespaces in the integration with Jira. Going over to Jira, the first thing that we need to do is go down to settings, go down to apps, and then we need to search and find the GitLab app. We'll go to the marketplace, type in GitLab, and with the results, it should be the first one that is populated. From there, we'll get the app, get it now, should just take a couple seconds. And then we see it successfully added, and then we'll go to manage app. Once we get to manage app, it'll give us a couple choices here. We'll click get started. And it's going to be a very simple app right now. All we need to do is add a namespace and then link that namespace to Jira. Um, this is not overly complex. This is in version 1.0, released in September of 2019. Uh, hopefully, we have a couple more versions in the future uh, around this app for the uh, GitLab Jira integration. So now we need to grab that namespace. And um, I briefly talked about subgroups because that's important for our namespace. Um, <clears throat> what we're going to do is come up here and we can just copy and paste the URL. Uh, we'll add that in the namespace, but we need to make sure that uh, we're going to remove the uh, HTTPS GitLab.com. So we'll remove that and we'll be able to now add tech marketing demo slash GitLab agile demo healthcare provider. That's the path that I have for healthcare provider. Uh, more times than none, it would just be um, perhaps uh, just the the top level group and you can add that but I'm going to add this stream here um, and what this is going to do it's going to now allow us to have any any group or subgroup within healthcare provider incorporated can have that Jira GitLab integration um, if we wanted to be more specific to a, a specific subgroup let's say restorative therapies group um, they have the surgical technologies group. I have a few of these uh, projects or these teams here that are using GitLab for agile project management, and they have a few using for Jira. Um, what we could also do is very uh, be very specific in um, adding that namespace. So if I take that off, then now we see we have a longer path here, and it's specific to surgical technologies. So if I added that, what that means is that only these projects underneath surgical technologies um, those are the only ones that will have that uh, jira gitlab integration set up but in the case that uh, you saw i added the namespace for healthcare provider at these at uh, this um, parent group level every every single group every single project now has that capability if i go into back-end engineering let's say this is the team that wants to set up that jira integration and I just add a simple uh, file to this directory. Just make it a, a YAML file. I've, I already have a couple in there, so uh, we'll give it two eyes, so it doesn't it doesn't uh, give me a warning. Tell me I already have that file. Let's just give it an auto DevOps uh, template, something that comes along with GitLab. And then down here in the commit message, this is how we are going to link. Uh, to our issue or user story inside of Jira. So let's go back and go to, whoops, we're going to go back to our project page. I have Healthcare Provider Incorporated here. We're going to dive into that. 
let's uh, go ahead and give this a name. We'll say GitLab integration with Jira. We'll make it a story. You can add whatever information um, there. And then now I have this GitLab integration with Jira. It's on my backlog showing on my Kanban board. Um, we'll leave it here. A thing we need to take over though is this HPI-17. That's what we're going to lead with here in the commit message. <clears throat> so I'll leave with HPI-17. Um, I can add a comment that will help with the transition. So So what this is going to let us do is it's going to take this transition here in progress and then once it's committed it's going to move this from backlog to in progress. So um, these are just the three default uh, transitions I have set up here. Maybe the, your workflow is different. Just make sure that it is exactly uh, how you have it built it out here. So I have the pounds and the hashtag uh, in progress and that's what I set up inside of my uh, commit message. I'm going to take that same uh, issue ID from Jira. I'm going to add that to my target branch. And let's just say it's GitLab. Great. Jira. Um, that's my target branch. And then we can see here that I'm going to start a new merge request with these changes. Um, merge request known as a pull request inside of Jira. And we'll be able to see that within the issue. We'll be able to see our commit, our target branch, and our merge request. Um, if I commit these changes, oh, it corrected that up there. So let's do this. Commit these changes. And now it opens up the merge request. So the merge request is not yet uh, submitted. But what we can take a look at is if I go over here, refresh this issue, we should now see that it is moved to in progress. I see that there's a branch and a commit connected to this issue. If I click on branch, um, it gives me that branch, the repository that it's in or the team's repository. So back in engineering, I can go into that repository or I can look at the specific branch. It's gonna take me back to the commits inside of GitLab. Uh, the same goes for um, the, oh, sorry, that was the branch. Uh, same goes for the commit. Um, if I want to go inside that commit, uh, it's going to take me into that commit. So the one before this was, it took me into uh, that branch that I created. If I go into um, that merge request now, and I'm just going to say, great with Jira, change that title, give it a whip, let's assign it to myself. Um, and then merge options. I can delete that source branch and I can also, also squash the commits uh, when the merge request is accepted. Um, what that's gonna do is it's gonna, and this is your choice right now inside that JIRA issue, it's gonna remove the branch and the commits from that issue once this um, merge request is merged into master. So let's submit that. And it's now gonna have that uh, merge request completed. We'll see that this is uh, an issue in Jira, so this as well uh, would open up uh, inside of Jira, taking me directly to that that issue or user story. Um, once this merge request is uh, completed and merged to master, it will close uh, that issue inside of Jira. Um, we see that the pipeline has kicked off using GitLab CI/CD, so we have a YAML file that has the build stages. Uh, all structured in here. It's going to run through those and once this is uh, passed then I'll be able to resolve that work in progress status based on um, if I like the changes, uh, if the changes are, are meeting my expectations, meeting my you know definition of done, I'll merge that into master and then it will close that issue in Jira. If we go back here, refresh it, uh, we'll see the branch of commit there and then we'll now see that it has a pull request aka merge request in GitLab tied to it. It shows as open once that mer merge request is merged into master and complete um, that would show as closed and we'll be able to see um, the branch and commit as well will go away if, if I chose to squash and have that branch deleted uh, and it's also giving me some activity here as well. Uh, same thing with pull request if I want to go into see that exact merge request inside of GitLab 
here it is. We were just inside there. Um, now, what I want to do is, because we're not going to wait for the pipeline on this one, is let's go into merge requests. And I had a, a, a previous merge request that ran, and it passed. And we see that the pipeline passed. If I wanted to, uh, you know, take a look at the um, the the application, review it to make sure the changes are good. Um, I can resolve this work in progress status. That's now going to give me the ability to uh, merge this merge request into master. It's going to delete that source branch. Well, let's take a look at the board real quick, and we'll see. Um, here's HPI 16. This is the the merge request that previously ran that we're looking at right now. Um, it's in progress, and if I do this quick enough, once I merge that, we should see that this moves over. Maybe I need to refresh it. I'm gonna refresh it, and now uh, we see that the uh, GitLab integration. Uh, with Jira demo 2 is now moved over um, the one that we just created is still uh, in progress and so what it's doing it's it's kicking off this pipeline inside of GitLab it's uh, running that final pipeline uh, into master and if I go over the board I click into this right here um, you'll see that uh, this is actually showing uh, two commits still it's not showing that branch anymore because that source branch was deleted uh, it's showing um, that the pull request is open at the moment but as soon as that pipeline is completed and uh, the change is pushed into master then this uh, will show as closed so this has just been a uh, a quick overview um, really, there's not a lot to setting up the GitLab Jira integration using the uh, the app in the marketplace. Previously, we had a um, a GitLab Jira integration that took a, a couple more steps. Uh, those links to those videos are uh, in the uh, the description below. Um, but this is now a a more simple approach. And if you have any questions or comments, please uh, feel free to add them in the comment section below. Thank you for joining today.